next to hit will be the pitcher, Kyle Freeland. And he's coming off a two run homer his last time around. And I'm sure as he strikes to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. And this is taken out there by Braun for the first out. The right fielder, number 19, Charlie Blackman. Standing in, Charlie Blackman. Lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first to get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 to three ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Ready to take his hacks again. Trevor Story as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So that keeps the inning alive with two out for David Dahl. Dan, with that single, he's now three-quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that you said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. Into the box now, David Dahl. And one count and the pitch hit sharply toward the right side. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Story is on his way home. He scores as they extend their lead even further. I'll tell you, they're now posting batting. video game Third numbers base. here. I mean, that's <laughs> their 11th run All of the right, game, auto. and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies Nolan Arenado lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. He has a three for 12 line. He also has one home run. As a look now the pitch late swing but he's still able to get a lot of this one out to a deep right field oh, and he can't track it down as this ball falls. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. The first big yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Yeah, Not only did he have a great A.B. first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Boy, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. Into the box, Daniel Here's Murphy, up. as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Lyles comes set, coming at him with the 0-1. Lifted the other way down the left field yeah. line. But this will land untouched. Arenado, the runner at first with two gone. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through six full. It's the Rockies 12, and the Brewers nothing. Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Now in the box, Mike Mustakis. It was a backwards K, strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action out there, tough to decipher between the fastball and changeup. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. 
textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Arenado's got it. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. I know that now has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, well, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. One ball, no strikes to count. One and no pitch on the way. In there, and it's even at one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. A runner at first with no outs here. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. One there on to first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. The first baseman, number seven. Eric Boy, and that's a great Stink. play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you could definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Stepping in now, Eric Thames. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Another one. 13 strikeouts Ladies now, and the inning is over. The Brewers go down quietly. Just about given up for dead. It's 12 to nothing. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Alex Claudio comes on the pitch now, please. hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in now this one. And batting in the sixth spot, number 58, Alex Claudio. Now catching and Stepping into the box, Ryan McMahon. Nine. And he hasn't quite and had the same <coughs> fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. First pitch on its way. Line toward right center. Kane is to Damn his it. left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Jumped all that over that first pitch the of the inning, fielder. and he didn't miss it. Rival. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. In now, Rymel Tapia. This is pulled into right. Yelich is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two the bat, gone. The catcher. No day. Well two away now in the Colorado seventh, and that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. The 0 and 1 delivery. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And it 
Indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Down go the Rockies on a mere four pitches, but they lead it by a count of 12 to nothing. So digging in now, Orlando Garcia. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. McMahon has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Now well, these fans have been treated to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right hand side of your screen. Not the most hits I've given up in a long time. Striding into the box, Manny Pena, lifetime against this particular arm. He's hitless in three at bats. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Fastball called for strike two. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. The pitch. Struck him up. out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Something to be said for home cooking, apparently, as you get a look at our There's line score. This one oh, never in doubt as the home standing nine have outplayed their guests in every facet of the game. So the lineup flips over and digging in Lorenzo Kane. He's gone hitless in this one Dan and he's not alone. No he's not Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Yeah. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Hey, you find yourself down 0 2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. <laughs> three up, three down from the <laughs> oh, He ain't happy. <laughs> it's 12 to nothing. Not my fault, Kyle you suck. Freeland. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when you guys throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. First pitch coming, here it is. Liner towards second. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. He came to play today, not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Boom goes the dynamo. <laughs> Yeah. How about that? A two run blast to straight away right field, his second of the game, as they just continue to pour it on here.
now batting. Not shortstop. Trevor. Story. Into the box now. Trevor Story. Good high in the Goodbye. Oh, Holy shit. <laughs> A solo home run here off the bat of Trevor Story. His second home run of the game as the blowout continues. Matt Albert enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right Number where it is. Matt Albert. Now done. <clears throat> the left fielder, David. Into the box, Dahl. David Dahl. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Where this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Ready on 0 and 2. This is line to left, and that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. How frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, now and this guy throws out a fillet of fish to the opposite Solo. field. You know, sometimes you have All to tip right, your cap that inside out swing. As a pitcher, you think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. Stepping in now, Nolan Arenado, as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. And this will wind up kicking off the wall near the 350 sign. Wow, he almost blew that fastball by him, but he shows first some base quick base. hands to catch yeah, up to it and drive it down the opposite oh, line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Standing in now, Daniel Murphy. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Braun to put it away. Now here comes the runner for the plate. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run score for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. And Ryan McMahon digs in to bat next. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit out towards second. And there are two away now. Now batting. The center fielder. Five <coughs> ball. Tapia. Striding in for the Rockies, Rymel Tapia, runner in scoring position with two gone. First delivery to him on the way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Yelich going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. So much of this That's game is situational 14. hitting, guys. Nice Go job in. there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box now. Tony Walters flipped out the other way towards short. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. Nine men come to the plate, however, five of them score. 
We've played eight full. Rockies lead it 17 to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Christian Yelich. And at this point in the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Yellich. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. him out again so that's the old sombrero there partner four <laughs> strikeouts in the ball game the left fielder number eight Ryan Braun now at the plate Ryan Braun he's working on a one for three thus far first delivery to him on the way there's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. And a big swing there by Braun, but he comes up empty. No balls and two strikes. Now here it comes. Count remains at 0-2. Faces are empty, one man out. Oh. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Chopped at third, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The next one two pitch. Oh and Braun connects on one in the air to deep left field. Into the bleachers and gone. Brian Braun with the solo home run. But that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Yeah, all things considered, it's been a day to forget for them. So this homer will be a welcome to everyone in that dugout. Maybe this gives them a little momentum going into the next game. In now, number 18. Number 18. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Blackman will take this one away, and that's out number two. Now that is first baseman. Mike Brewers down to their final out now. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakis. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone, oh, zone or just or out just of the zone. zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Proud of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 
Well, he was gunning for a complete game shutout, but it just wasn't in the cards here. But anytime you can go nine innings and give up only one single run, you've done pretty good for yourself and your team. 17 to 1 the final today. The Rockies played at 17 runs in this one to grab the W. Kyle Freeland pitches well enough to get the W. Chase Anderson was unable to work out of the second inning as he saddled with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Time of the ball game. Four hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.